so Eilish Tierney, Tierney, Kieran Tierney, yeah. right? Yeah. So I hear you're making your first first fight in. Yep, just had my pro debut in February twenty fourth. Yeah. So would you like to tell us a bit more about yourself? How's it going? How's training going? I know you're in the Wardley camp. Yeah, so back in camp, ready for May 25th. Um, obviously, train in the same gym as Fabio Wardley, so I'm here to support him today. Um, known him since I started about three years ago, so yeah, it's been a hell of a journey for him, and it's nice that I finally followed in his um, footsteps and done the same. So. so you've come through a similar setup to uh, Fabio. You've gone through a white collar. Yep. White collar room. Um, so. How many, do you have any amateur bouts or just straight from white collar into the pro game? So I had eight white collar bouts followed by three amateurs and then straight into the pro game. So yeah, not doing too bad. And how have you found that transition from, you know, from going from white collar to now the pro game? Um, it's actually been quite smooth. I've, um, I can box on the front foot, back, box on the back foot. So it was the amateur, the pace was quite nice. So to have the combination of being able to adapt to any situation was um, nice, especially in my debut when my opponent was just a bit unorthodox and just couldn't quite figure out to begin with. But in fact, I've got all that background in fighting different people. It's not like just the amateurs where it's all high speed. I've had, I've had hard white collar fights, I've had hard amateur fights. So to come into the pros and be able to put it all together, it was quite nice. Yeah, as you mentioned, the, the high pace of the amateur game is quite different to the pro game because, you know, it's a lot more, you're, put, you're sitting down on your shots, you're planting your feet. Um, you, you, you've had your first fight. When did, when, when's your next fight? May 25th, down at York Hall again on a TM14 and a Nielsen Boxing Show. Nice. So it's quite nice to, for them to have me back and to shine under down York Hall again. And what weight are you currently fighting at? Featherweight. How are you finding the weight cuts or is weight cut? I mean, for myself, when I was boxing, I was in the old salt baths, uh, saunas, yep. um, before weighing. How, how are you finding the weight cuts? Um, I find it quite easy. Um, I was 15 stone when I started boxing and that's, wow. how, that's how I got into it. So during lockdown, I was um, a lot bigger than I am now. Okay. So to lose the five stone during lockdown, like three or four kg is... That's a breeze. <laughs> <laughs> five, five stones is a lot of weight. Yeah. So, down. so, I mean, I was, I was cutting three, three before, like two days before, yeah. um, three kilos. And I know for myself, it's a, it's, it's a big ask. And, and, and it's tiring on the body, but I guess in the pro game, you've got like a day to rehydrate. Right? Yeah, yeah. So it's good. Um, it's fitting. It's well, I've never had to worry about my weight because I'm, I'm all right at losing it. It's um, it's the super bantam areas where I want to get to. So a few fights at feather, then I think the big cut will be trying to get down to super bantam. Female boxing is making you know quite. It's come on leaps and bounds in comparison to the last ten years. Obviously, yep. you know we've seen the likes of Katie Taylor and Savannah Marshall, Clarissa Shield. They've been paving the way for females within within, within yep. our sport. Um, how far do you reckon you yeah. want to go with it? I mean, do we want to go all the way? And, yeah. I reckon like I've got a good team behind me. I've got a good belief in my own abilities. So the goal is to go all the way. Like. People like Katie Taylor, Ebony Bridges, Nina Hughes, all of that, they're, they're an inspiration of mine. I've um, had the pleasure of being in the ring with some of them for sparring. So it's a big, it's a big push when you're being asked back by world champions. So it's um, one of those things that's just nice to hopefully follow in their footsteps and become world champion. And seeing Fabio up there on the big stage, that must be inspiring. You know, he's got a big show tomorrow. 13,000 I believe in yep. the O2, that's going to go off. It's mad, it's, gonna, it's my birthday on the same day, oh, so wow. there's no other way I want to celebrate my 26th than watching Fabio's hand being raised, so it's going to be mad. What do we think the result's going to be? Knockout in the 6th or the 8th. Is this a big phrase? Big, big phrase, I respect big phrase, I respect yeah. what he's done as an amateur, I respect how both lads have gone around it and they're not chatting um, to each other, Like they've sold the fight well. But my, I'm 100% back on my boy Fabio on this, and he will knock him out, hand raise, and we're bringing those belts back to Ipswich. So, and just finally, do you want to give us a shout out to all the people where they can find you on your socials? Yeah, so drop me a follow on um, Eilish Tierney on Instagram. Come buy some tickets for my next fight, and uh, thank you for the opportunity for the interview. No worries. <laughs> the interview, amazing. Cheers, Eilish. Nice one. Thank nice. you.